If you think about the conversation turning to the we versus the me, you're going to avoid this pitfall of making the conversation about yourself. And the more we moments you create, the more memorable you are in standing out from the crowd of boring small talk at these events, at the bar, at the club, at the restaurant, as we heard from Gabe, and even like our client, Chris. So when Chris joined the X Factor Accelerator, he was building out his business, and this business is financial advisement. So of course, getting clients on board would be really helpful for him in growing his business, but can also feel a lot like selling yourself and having to talk about your services all the time. And in looking to grow his business, he was trying to figure out, okay, how can I use all of these skills inside of the X Factor Accelerator to foster connections that aren't going to lead me talking about financial strategies, but instead find some common ground and ideally lead to some referrals and some meetings after the fact, not over some beers at Run Club. And he happened to be invited to a cocktail party that some friends were throwing. And he focused solely on making we moments, not talking about himself and his business and going down conversations that he knew in the past would feel like salesmanship, and instead look for we moments throughout the evening, opportunities to share commonalities, similarities, things that he found in conversation both people enjoyed. Now, these conversations opened up seamlessly, and he started to get introduced to other people, and those people ended up creating meetings and becoming clients of his well after this cocktail party. But he was planting the seeds at the party by looking for and creating we moments with strangers, friends of friends, potential clients that he hadn't met yet. So it's important to realize often when we're doing this in a professional setting or even when we're doing this socially or romantically, we might have some selfish goals in mind, right? We want to get that date. We want to make that friend. We want to make that connection. We want to grow that business. And in turn, that may lead to you selling yourself. And in, in that opportunity of selling yourself, you're actually pushing people away. You're making them less interested in you. But if we find the common ground and the we statements create we moments, we actually stand out and become more memorable and allow those conversations to actually blossom into relationships. AJ, I want to add to this as well. I know that we have a, a lot of young men and 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 folks who are getting back into the dating scene after a uh, hiatus. And this show has become very important and popular in that crowd because uh, it certainly goes through all of the questions of getting back out there and, and being a more efficient and effective. When you use we statements in an attraction environment with somebody that you're interested in, as AJ mentioned, they begin foreshadowing spending time with you. This is a great concept for you to use to see the response you get from somebody that you're attracted to or interested in and wanting to learn more about. If they begin using that we statement back or showing signs of excitement, you can be sure that it's safe to move forward and being explicit about that. And this becomes very important. This is all the cues that you need to know that you got the green light here, fellas. So what you're doing here is you're promoting a sense of unity and collaboration between your conversation partner and, and yourself. And this is what Agnew and his team found in an article they published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, where they call it the inclusion of the other in the self, meaning that you use plural pronouns to foster the inclusion of the other in the self. So you now have a commitment and a cognitive interdependence in those relationships, which are positively correlated with relationship satisfaction and stability as well. So subconsciously, by using we and us and future pacing, as Johnny was talking about, things you can do together in the future, you are creating opportunities where the other person, the absolute stranger, can see themselves being friends with you, being business partners with you, being a prospective client, or even being a romantic partner. Mm -hmm.